What is going on everyone? It's your guy Cole Jackson back here on Road Graders and today we are going to be talking about one of the biggest road graders of them all. It's Daniel Falele. Uh taking a look at year two and his entry into this game when Morgan Moses went down, came in as a right tackle for 29 snaps, 13 run block, 16 pass block, allowed one sack, one QB hit. We're going to take a look at both of them. Uh, hit that like button if you're excited to see more of Falele. We're going to get real critical in this video, um, focusing on what we think he could do better. To be completely honest with you guys, wasn't overly happy with uh, with his performance in this one, and we're going to break it all down. Hit subscribe if you guys are new here. Going to have videos like this coming out all week, every week, breaking down the Ravens, especially the big guys in the trenches. So let's get right into it. Um, so we're going to start. I'm going to start on his sack and his QB hit allowed. Um, just something I find you you learn more from your losses than your wins. So you obviously see him there at right tackle. We're going to take a little... Ugh. Daniel, use your feet, my guy. All right, so we're going to get a 45 degree set here. So remember, back into the classroom, we got vert set, 45 set, quick set. So we're going to see a 45 set. Really liked how he set on him. Um, you can kind of see, I found he's, if you look at the ball there, he's out of his stance pretty quick. He moves laterally pretty quick. What I don't like is, and this was a thing Philele struggled with a bit, he would plant his feet and then hit two hand strikes. And so the reason I don't like that is because if you lose any sort of leverage on your outside hand, you're you're cooked if it your inside hand is less prone because you can absorb the weight but as you can see he just gets stepped around here but because right here he lands his two feet two hand strike as soon as that helmet crosses his helmet inside that way he loses all the leverage and there's the pressure that results in a sack and that is what we can't have from Falele. So what I'd like to see ideally, and this is what I really want to focus on in this video, what should we be seeing? So if he's going to set out like that, I think he lines him up pretty good. I'd like to see a single hand strike line right up inside because what I think Falele needs to focus on is these guys that are going to try and bend his edge. He needs to try and get them to square him up because if he can get that hand inside or outside leverage here, sorry, on this left shoulder of the edge rusher, it's going to force him to come inside, which he can then plant this hand, or it's going to force him to keep going that way. But because he's only hit one hand, he can take that left hand, put it inside, and push out the back of the pocket, rather than this, where he strikes with two, and now he's got no means of recovery, and his feet have stopped. So that, that plant feet, two hands, two hand uh, punch stuff is what I don't like to see. And then here, Zadarius Smith rare snap on the right side miles is usually over the left tackle miles garrett's here this is just his weakness right and so i mean <laughs> this is just he's he's got to look he's got to see who's be beside him i thought the issue here was he didn't really commit to his set um it almost looks like he's trying to quick set if we can like <laughs> right and i mean miles garrett's time look how quick miles garrett is off Keep, a look, keep an eye on his two hands here and watch the ball. So the ball is going to go right there. Some of these guys haven't even stepped yet, and he's already a step up. His hands just release. So what Falele should never be doing is trying to quick or even 45. I don't even, I'd like to see a lot of verts. And so he tries to get his hands out on him early, and you're just going to get boom, boom, double hand swipe away. And he's already around the corner. Like, that can't happen. That's Falele needs to set vertically, get deep on him. So, again, I just, it, he's kind of trying to plant and he's pushing with both hands there. So, just would like to see some better single hand usage, would like to see better decision making on the set to use against a guy like Miles Garrett. This was only a QB hit because Lamar was able to get the get the get the ball out but it wasn't all bad so let's take a look at these two snaps because i thought they were solid there he is on the right tackle side and so there see he's gonna and the ball's out quick here so i'm not trying to glorify this snap but what i want you guys to focus on is how quick he's out of a set see everybody's getting their foot out mccary who's known for this he's out he's out and then he squares and then once he squares i don't mind the two-hand strike when he's coming into him like he was here and then he just absorbs. And you can see what he does here as he pushes this left hand up, keeps that helmet outside. 
And so that's because he wants exactly what this edge defender was doing. He wants to push up here, helmet outside, and if he forces him to come inside, he's just going to use that hand, his brute strength, to hold him. If he tries to keep going that way, he's already got his helmet across. He can just continue to work that leverage point. So I don't mind giving up inside leverage there. Um, so that was a better set. If he's going to get out there and two-hand strike, and then here we'll play this one through fast. So same thing, right? So he's going to play a little bit more patient here and see what he did there. He's working that right hand more than his left hand. The left hand does come in, but his left hand is swatting that hand down. He's working that right hand and just keeping him at bay out there. He's just going to let him play out there when he comes back inside. This was that beautiful touchdown throw to Mark Andrews. So that's what I like to see there. That's much better. So, I mean, that's what I mean, guys. It wasn't all bad for Falele. Um, Really just take a look at those four snaps because I think they were a good way of looking at what the issue was, how he can fix it. Also taking a look at some of the things he did well for Falele. It's all going to be about chasing consistency. We're going to learn more today about Morgan Moses' injury status and whether or not that's going to draw Falele into the starting mix. That's all I have for you guys today. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out, everyone.